it on. Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is Myra Lindley Branham Hatfield, but you know me as Tuesday Adams. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you already subscribed, tell us friend about Tuesday Adams on YouTube. Well, today we're doing a demonstration speech for COM 210 Section 113 at Ball State University. Ball State University. Okay, well, <clears throat> this demonstration speech is how to deal with an overheated radiator. <sighs> right? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you in four easy steps how to deal with an overheated radiator okay first by letting your engine cool second by releasing the pressure third by adding equal parts of coolant and water and third by making an appointment with your mechanic because that issue is not gonna go away okay so once your car overheats and you notice that your water gauge has went from cool to hot and your water lights on find the nearest stop and pull over and shut your engine off okay this is the water and the fluid that you can add without your engine on okay so um what i what i would do is pull over and let everything cool off okay until the steam goes away once the steam goes away then you go over to your radiator cap and you loosen it like this okay if there's no steam coming out and there's no boiling okay then you can completely remove the cap okay then you want to add equal parts okay of water okay and radiator coolant it doesn't matter what kind of coolant you have i use this kind i don't even know what kind it is um it's antifreeze coolant rev 360. okay that's what i use now i've already put it in there <laughs> okay and i'm gonna add this water okay do not add cold cold water to a hot engine it'll crack your block okay you want to pull it you want to go ahead and fill it up till it's full okay you want to already i've already added enough of that to equal this i already know see it's still steaming it's still hot see but this is lukewarm water so it's taken a minute to get it full. But it's almost there. Now, here we go. Oh, it's up to the top now. That's all we needed, okay? Pour that back in there. And then we can replace the cap. After you do that, you can get safely back on the road. But that's the third and fourth step, okay? But the, the second and third step was to First, pull your car over, let it, let it cool down. Second, release the pressure. Third, add the coolant and the water. And fourth, you're going to need to make an appointment with your mechanic because that, uh, that issue is not going to go away. Okay? All right? The three things that could cause an overheated radiator is three. First one is that your uh thermostat could be sticking the second is you could have a leaky hose and the third is that your radiator could be corroded or rusted causing uh uh you know bad air circulation bad airflow okay and you're going to need to get that that taken care of so your fourth step is to call your mechanic and make an appointment right away otherwise you're going to crack your block or you're going to warp your heads now i want to you for watching me do this demonstration speech and I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and look forward to upcoming videos of how to de-ice your windshields it just you spray it on you spray it right on and immediately it de-ices your windshield and then we've got some heat 
that you can add to your gas tank, okay? That way your gas doesn't get ice in it and ruin your engine. And fuel injecting cleaner. So be looking for our upcoming videos. Subscribe to my channel, Tuesday Adams. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna let you shut this off.